Detroit, symbol of the American car. Today in the Irish Hills, just west of Detroit, engines are ready to fire and American dreams ready to roll for what's one of the best events of the season. Attention Kmart racers, there's a green flag special coming. Hey there everybody, my brothers and sisters, thank you so much. Once again, please honor and humble that dude named Dale. Please. <laughs> Hey there, my brothers and sisters, that dude named Dill. Thank you so much. Once again, I am pleased, honored, and humbled to have you here on another video. Thank you so much for tuning back in to NASCAR 2000 Championship Season Mode Playthrough, celebrating the game's 20th anniversary of release, playing as a 1999 NASCAR Winston Cup Series champion, future Hall of Famer Dale Jarrett, and his number 88 Ford Quality Care Services Ford Taurus. Yeah. We're, we're doing all right, baby. We're doing good. Hope everybody's doing good today. Uh, just to catch everybody back up, in the last video we did the Coca-Cola 600, and we finished seventh. It was a little bit eh, eh, just a little bit eh. Unfortunately, like, we had a little damage on the front end, and we got stuck without the draft, so it kind of hurt us a little bit, but we were making some hay towards the end. The two tires were starting to work to our benefit, but we just too little too late, unfortunately. So, P7, our top five streak is broken once again, but again, we finished in the top ten in every race. We finished in the top half of the field in every race so far, being 11 races in, um... Four wins and nine top fives to boot along with that with $2.14 million that I've never seen in my life and I really wish I had that kind of money, but unfortunately we do not. It would be nice to have that kind of money though. And um, so here are the season standings after 11 of 24 races. This video is going to be the halfway point of the season right here and you see that yours truly holding that points lead down. Bobby Labonte, 60 points back, Jeff Burton. 81 points back and then from Mark Martin on down it's pretty much over one race just about one race or over one race Mark Martin Dale Earnhardt the top five Jeremy Mayfield Ward Burton Tony Stewart Terry Levani and Jeff Gordon rounding out the top 10 as we head to Michigan Speedway Eddie Soundhead you are from Michigan and I know that you love to see it ladies and gentlemen it's actually funny this is recording I'm doing a bulk recording but this is actually on the day for Kevin Harvick took the win at Michigan in the 2019 Consumers Energy 400 at Michigan and I know you were there Soundhead so Soundhead this one's for you my man cuz you know you just you love to see it you love to see it <laughs> all right everybody ladies and gentlemen without further ado Michigan Michigan ladies and gentlemen we got to win it because Michigan is the backbone of the automotive industry at least here in America Ford and Chevrolet particularly so I know we're repping Ford in this playthrough. We repped Chevrolet in the in the last two playthroughs for the 20th anniversary with Jeff Gordon, but um, I don't care. I still support my American auto manufacturers regardless of what brand they are, so we need to win this one for Ford. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to Michigan. All right, my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for staying tuned in. You guys know the rules by now. 100% difficulty, veteran settings, no car setups, just qualifying and racing. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, Michigan Speedway. And we're going to go qualifying here. 42.04 is the pole time set by Jeff Burton. Let's see what we could do here in Michigan and qualifying. No practice was done. Okay, driver, this is the money lap. Let's give it all you got. So we have not done any practice here in Michigan, um, unfortunately. So... Michigan is still flat, apparently, in EA Sports' mind. It was flat in NASCAR 99 as well, and I run into the wall because it's flat. <laughs> it should be more banking than this, but eh, I guess you'll have that in NASCAR. And backstretch is kind of curved like Chicagoland, which is kind of weird, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, tight. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know what kind of qualifying lap this is, but it's not going to be any good. I hit the wall on both ends of the fucking speedway, so... Yeah, that's nah, not going to be too good. What happened out there? You hate to see it. You just hate to see it. <laughs> I got to throw the sound headline in there. You just hate to see it. My God. We were terrible. 45-14, dead last. Shotgun on the fucking field. We were well over three seconds slow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. 
All right, things are starting to take a little bit of a turn here in this championship season mode. I that's two straight races that I haven't started in the top 10. That's going to be great. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, for Ed Soundhead, for Eddie Soundhead, and for anybody who is in, in close proximity to Michigan, and even you Canadian people, Brandon McComb, I know you're Michigan-oriented up there because you Canadian, you ca ca you know, Canada up there, <laughs> you know, whatever. But yeah, this is for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. The only way we can go is up, so let's do it. <sighs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here in Michigan. CBS, Ken Squire, take it away. Michigan Speedway on a day that's a little cloudy. Potential for showers before it's over. 43 of the world's best drivers at the ready for this $2.3 million event. Flag to fly coverage on CBS. Gentlemen, Look at that. The Jeffries on the front row. Jeff Burton, Jeff Gordon make up row one. Ward Burton and Bobby Labonte make up the starting grid for row number two. Here in the Pepsi 400, Mark Martin and Tony Stewart make up row number three. What a good start for Steve Park, shotgun on the field. He and Mike Skinner make up row four. Bobby Hamilton and Ken Schrader are making up row five here as we get ready to race here in Michigan. The Pepsi 400. We're live from Michigan Speedway for today's NASCAR race. I'm Bob Jenkins along with racing analyst Benny Parsons. This track has been the site of many exciting finishes in the past and today will probably be no exception. Benny, how do you see this race shaping up? Uh, this is going to be an exciting race. Every team likes their setup. What that means is we have a field full of confidence, and that makes for great racing. Wow, they kind of just drove away from us here in turn one. Backstretch. Oh, here we go. Nice momentum rolling down the back stretch here. Car low. Yeah. All right, we're back up there. All right, had me worried there for a little bit. They kind of just drove away from me. Everybody's going up high, hitting that wall just about. Hopefully they didn't damage our car too much there. No, nope. no damage. Oh God, Terry Labonte, and that damaged our fucking car. Great. What the fuck were you doing, Terry? Come on. Seriously, bro. Great. How you doing in there? I got fucking damage. I'm doing just fucking dandy. I'm just fucking dandy, crew chief. Went to go check my damage, and Terry Labonte decides he's gonna fucking park it on the fucking front stretch. Like really? <laughs> the fuck. Oh, I'll Jordan's just fucking park it. Run. Oh well. He's Hopefully that mission. doesn't hurt us too bad. Again, that's kind of. I feel like that hurt us at Charlotte. Um, and we're gonna hit the wall again in the middle of three or four because you know, why the hell not? But once again, oh Jesus Christ, they're parking again, fighting. Oh my God! All right, thank God I was ready for that one. All right, thank God I was. I, oh, thank God I was ahead of that right there. I'll take that. I will take that. I'll take that. P6. We were 13th that we're now 6th. We gained 7 spots on the front stretch. Alright. You love to see it, right, Soundhead? You love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. He picked up the pace through that trap. Here we go, up to P5. That is beautiful. Up to top five here. The damage seems to be... Oh, once again, Bobby Labonte and Jeff Burton are the only ones that have led so far, so they've got bonus points for leading laps. And I'm still trying to work my way to the front and uh, get up there. Um, but it seems like right now we're doing okay. But I need to do better because... Bobby Labonte and Jeff Burton are up there leading laps, so we gotta make this happen. We gotta do better. We gotta do good. We gotta do good. Spectators have an outstanding view of the entire track from nearly every seat in the house. All right. I am pitting this time. Get out of my way, Ward Burton. They're heading. And I gained a ton of time. 
in a ton of time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I am not gonna take any tires. Fuck that noise. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run the risk of completely butchering the fuck out of my pit stop like I did last time at Charlotte. So, don't even repair the damage. Just give me fuel and get me the hell out of here. Cause I butchered that pit stop last time. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. All right, here we go. Hurry up. Faster, faster, faster. There we go. And go. Go on, get back out there. All right. So we just barely beat Jeff Gordon now because he came in just like barely in front of us. So that's kind of a good thing. Um, yeah, let's see what happens with the tire wear situation here. Again, this, um, this race is a little bit shorter. Hopefully the tire wear isn't as bad. Hopefully it's not as bad. No, I, th this game has the most retarded. I, I understand they're trying to make the the crew chief and everything a little bit more interactive, but the crew chief is retarded. I just came in for a stop, and you're asking me for adjustments. Turn turn three. I would ask for adjustments before I stopped. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. You need tires. Yeah, I know I need tires. I don't need tires though. Car drives Bob better on worn tires. All right, let's see if we can beat, uh, we're going to beat Jeff Burton. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be really close. Oh, it's real close. I'm going to try to beat Jeff Burton out. Oh, I, yeah, I run right into the back of him. That's, 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 yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah. All right. Um, Jesus fighting for position against Jeff Burton. Bobby Labonte moves into second place. I tried to pass Jeff Burton here. He wouldn't even let me go. He tried to freaking. He tried to right rear me. You see that? You see that noise? See that shit? He tried to right rear me. He better take care of all that debt. Dale Jarrett is now being shown in the top five. There we go. All right. So we did a good job there by playing the fuel strategy, getting ourselves out to the lead, and hopefully we can hold off Jeff Burton. I'd still need to get five bonus points um, I'm gonna have to do some serious blockage because I really 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 want to win this damn race well, first I need to get first I need to uh, get five points to lead a lap that would help kind of neutralize and diffuse this situation here there we go five points five bonus points for us we finally have led a lap and I gotta itch my leg here we go. Sorry. Jeff Burton trying to get around us. I am wide open through turns one and two at Michigan. I'm going to try to hold on. Try to hold off Jeff Burton. Try to hold off. That's also Bobby Labonte in second. So try to hold these guys off here. Try to get win number five on the season. I am officially wide open through turns three and four, as well as one and two. So we need to just plate race it. We just gotta block, block the momentum. Great lap, keep it up. Two laps to go here at Michigan. Hey, Soundhead, is that is the color of that building correct? <laughs> I mean, there it is. Is it correct or no? Because <laughs> I know he always makes fun of it. Always makes fun of it for not being right in NASCAR heat. Ooh, I had to block the shit out of Jeff Burton right there. And if I need to, I will get violent. Because I ain't giving this up. Y'all have dominated. Michigan Speedway always offers two miles of non-stop racing excitement. All right. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Labonte's there. Jeff Burton is there. White flag. One more lap to go here in the Pepsi 400 in Michigan. Flag. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's bring home this checkered flag, baby. Just got to hold it wide open. Got to make two more sets of corners. Hopefully the fuel will hold out there and we can win this race. Jeff Burton is looking low. Going to throw the block. Here goes Bobby Labonte trying to make a pass. All right. Hopefully the fuel holds out here, ladies and gentlemen. Off the final corner. Here comes Jeff Burton. He's going to try and get a run. I am going to shut that run down. It ain't going to happen. You love to see it, baby. 
Yes! P! Fifth win of the season! Eddie Soundhead, you love to see it! That's right, baby! <laughs> yes, sir! Bringing it home at Michigan Ford for Detroit, baby! Bringing it home! Bringing it home for Ford! And, uh, where is their headquarters at? Where the fuck is the Ford headquarters at? I'm trying to remember. Dearborn, that's right! Bringing it home for the boys back in Dearborn, Michigan. Yes, I am wearing a Chevrolet hat. But I love my American vehicles, Ford or Chevrolet. So, I love my domestic vehicles and I support them either way. So, we got the dub. Fifth win of the season here in Michigan. Fantastic. Awesome sauce. Hell yeah, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the rundown. Yours truly taking the win, which, by the way, I just remembered this now. Dale Jarrett won the race in 1999 at Michigan. Well, he won one of them anyways. Yeah! Mimulated emulated it perfectly. Dale Jarrett with the win at Michigan in real life, and here we are winning at Michigan. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is awesome, my brothers and sisters. Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, and how about that run by Steve Park to finish P5? That is pretty incredible. Jeff Gordon, Bobby Hamilton, Mike Skinner, Dale Earnhardt, Rusty Wallace, your top 10. As we scroll down to the unfortunate soul, damn, Mark Martin. F in the chat, F in the comments. Rip to Mark Martin for that blown engine at Michigan. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> I know, I'm just full of Ed Soundhead quotes and everything else. It's just, it's just too funny. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, halfway through the season, and we have opened up the lead, back, back up, up a little bit, 75 points now over Bobby Labonte, who has reclaimed, I think he reclaimed it from Jeff Burton? I think he reclaimed it from Jeff Burton in this race. I don't remember. But Bobby Labonte and Jeff Burton, still second and third. Mark Martin and Dale Earnhardt, those guys are officially over one race behind. Jerry Mayfield, Tony Stewart, Terry Labonte, Jeff Gordon, and Ward Button in the top 10 so far. After the halfway point of the season, Steve Park is still the unfortunate soul in dead last, even though he had a great run at Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the season info, and you can see we have now five wins in 12 races here in this playthrough. We officially got more wins than Dale Jarrett did in his 1999 campaign. He only won four times. He won... Where did he win? He won... Where the fuck did he win? Michigan was one of them. Um... He won Daytona. I think he won the July Daytona race. He won in Michigan. He won Indy. And what the hell was the other one? We did the other one. It was Richmond. That's right, Richmond. I'm sorry. So, yeah, he only won four times in 1999. Richmond, Michigan, Indy, and the July Daytona race. So, we've already got more wins than he does. They're kind of funny. Ten top fives, twelve top tens in the... Uh, season so far with two polls, those two polls ironically being the uh, the fantasy tracks that you guys voted on, Badlands and Salt Lake, which is kind of funny, so, but ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for welcoming me into your lives once again for another fantastic NASCAR 2000 video, that dude named Dale, again, please honor and humble that you are joining me, that you've joined me in this video today, if you like what you saw, please be sure to leave a like. Share the bitch, comment the bitch, and subscribe to the bitch. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This way, when you, well, subscribe. And then hit the bell that up next to that subscribe button. This way you will get notified anytime I create and upload, be it NASCAR or whatever, a live stream, for all the crazy shenanigans that we do on this channel. I thank you, my brothers and sisters, for joining me. Welcome me into your lives for a little bit. I always end my videos with be safe, have fun. I will see you guys in the next NASCAR 2000 race, which will be taking place at Seattle, the fourth of five fantasy tracks that you have voted for me to run at in this playthrough. But until then, I am out of here, guys. Be safe and have fun. Deuces. Black flag. Black flag. Last year's winner just ahead of this year's point leader. Boy, I tell you what, Gordon's really chopped it down. It's about a 15-car left lead right now. One second. That's all. One second. It is about 15 car lengths, as Buddy says. There they are. Gordon sweeps into the back straightaway as finally Mark Martin yields to Jarrett. Gordon can now sniff the draft to the race leader. Clear low. Clear low. Jarrett up high. 
Gordon right in his tire tracks on the high side. Boy, he's closing now, and I know Jarrett's taking it very carefully, but the 24 is just there, right behind him. You see the orange okay, nose coming for the flight. And Dale Jarrett wins the Kmart Michigan 400. Drop this one back to the Motor City. <laughs> and that's an important win. As Todd Kirk just pointed out, all the Detroit automaker brass are here in the VIP suites looking on. So this one will go to Ford. And to Robert Yates, driver Dale Jarrett. Let's go to victory lane and Ken Squire. And here's the man that's done it, who's driven about as perfect a race as you can do it. Dale Jarrett, now to the number 88, Robert Yates. Ford Taurus. Could it have been any better than that, Dale? Uh, probably the best race car I've ever driven. Uh, Thank Todd Perry and this entire crew. Uh, they told me they were bringing me a real horse this weekend, and they did. And I want to thank Ford Motor Company, Ford Quality Care, Ford Credit. You know, we usually don't go through all the sponsors. This is such a good car. We've got to thank Coca-Cola, Fleetwood RVs, uh, Quality Care Parts, everybody, Motorcraft Parts. This is just awesome. Texaco, appreciate everybody's support. Uh, this was just a, a great day for us. We needed this. You know, we've struggled along the way, even though we were leading the points. Didn't struggle today. Not one bit, and no cautions. Second time in the history of this race. Yeah, I was sitting there praying for no cautions as good as the car was. Plus, I knew that Jeff got his car better. He was catching me. Looked like it got a little cooler and the track got more rubber. My car got tighter. We adjusted it some, but we didn't want to go too far with it. Did you have any more for him at the end if you needed it? No, I was going pretty hard there. My car just picked up a real push there, and uh, I was glad that we didn't have any more time. Record holder at Michigan at 174 miles an hour. Dale Jarrett, congratulations.